Hello guys, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Stories. Today we're going to be taking a look at Alistair the Invoker and all the lore behind him and the Invoked Fusion cards along with the Alistair Link monster. So let's get right into it. So Alistair the Invoker, he was a really strong spellcaster, you know. He actually was the original founder of the Prophecies slash Spellbooks. And we'll see that in another of the one cards coming up. I don't know if it's released on the TCG yet, but you guys will see it in a bit. So yeah, powerful dude. He uses the Book of Law along with like a staff he has. And now the Book of Law teaches him this spell. It's called Invocation. The spell allows him to kind of fuse with these crazy beasts called Eidolon Beast. That's their OCG names. Um... So he calls upon these Eidolon Beast, and he kind of, I'm not sure if he like becomes one with them, or like he controls them, because in all of the Invoked Fusion monsters, you can see like the staff on Alistair on his hand. Here in Kakaitis, it's on like his chest, right? So it kind of suggests like Alistair is controlling them, and I feel like since Alistair and Invocation in the game like loop each other, and you always have Alistair back in your hand. I feel like it's like a reference to that. Like, oh, Alistair's in control of this monster, but he's not the monster. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me looking too deep into it. Back to the story. So, yeah, he fuses and he learns how to use the elements from the world to make these invoked monsters. This is the Earth one, of course. And like I said, you can see like Alistair's staff on his hand. The wind one, the fire one, and light. And after he teamed all of these, he thought about teaming the dark attribute invoked monster. But the Book of Law warned to not attempt to fuse with your own attributes. That not many people have survived that, and that few that have have been cursed forever. So Alistair, listen this time. And so, rather than pursuing to fuse with his own attribute, he pursued to fuse with all attributes. And invoked Elysium is what came out. Basically a god. Alistair was able to achieve this ginormous form. This monster counts as all attributes, basically. So, it's crazy good. 4,000 defense, 32,000 attack. Alistair felt after he was able to fuse into basically a god, he thought he was ready to fuse with his own attribute. But as he tried this and the curse was placed upon him, he wasn't powerful enough to tame the dark fusion. And all of his fusions started coming out in a red, weird zone. Alistair was shifting, he was changing. He turned into invoked Caliga. Now, Alistair was still conscious in this state. He knew what had just happened to him, and he knew he had to go back to his original form. He was a very strong spellcaster, so he knew he could revert this some way, somehow. And after trying, and trying, and attempt, he did. He became Alistair the Invoker of Madness. Now, the cool thing about the card is, like, Alistair's a normal monster, and then Caliga's, like, a fusion monster. But Alistair the Invoker is also an Alistair monster. Like, it counts as Alistair. But it's an extra deck monster. So it's cool, because it represents, like, how Alistair is half what he used to be and half what he is now, being Caliga. But yes, he turns into Alistair the Invoker of Madness. He's now coming back to his former self. A little more human-like, or spellcaster-like, should I say. But still crazy-looking, <laughs> like Caliga, basically. But after Alistair regains more of his conscience and is able to control his body more, he becomes into Alert Crowley, the origin of prophecy. He decides that he's done pursuing the invocation spells, and he's actually going to be looking for other ways to teach good spells to other people. So he started the spellbook Grant Tower. 
Alistair taught many spellcasters many different types of books. But that's for another story and a whole other day. And at the end of the spell book star hall is where Alistair lies. So if you guys like the story, if you guys want to hear any more stories, be let me know down in the comments below. Hit that like button if you like it. Hit that dislike if you didn't like it. If you guys have any more suggestions for any lore videos, you know, comment it down below. And if you guys like lore content, deck profiles, and you know, general Yu-Gi-Oh content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And um, if you thought any of my interpretations of the cards were wrong, like, just let me know down below and like let me know your interpretation and your argument. But yeah, bro, this has been Yu-Gi-Oh stories and peace.